Hey, it's Marissa from Atio, and in this video, we'll look at our utilities workflow actions. We covered loops in our last video, and now we'll be looking at sending HTTP requests to downstream systems and how you can convert JSON data that you've received into variables that can be used in Atio. Often you'll need to update other tools in your tech stack to reflect changes that have happened in Atio, or vice versa. HTTP requests, sometimes referred to as webhooks, are a widely used and flexible tool for sending data between software products. The HTTP request block lets you send requests to external tools, automating manual tasks and keeping your data in sync across your go-to-market stack. In this quick example, we want to update Intercom with a workspace's priority level, which is stored in Atio, anytime that data in Atio changes. So the trigger is record updated for workspaces and it's specifically on the priority attribute. In the HTTP block, you'll need to choose the appropriate method. Since I'm sending data to another server, I'm using post. Other options include delete to remove data, get to request data, head to request headers only, patch to modify specific parts of a data resource and put to replace existing data with the data that you're sending. The URL is the destination that you're sending the request to, and you'll need to get this as well as the headers from the tool that you're sending the HTTP request to. I'm sending this to Intercom to update the tags, and I've inserted my authorization and bearer, and then I've used variables for the body. Again, you'll need to refer to your other tool for how to format the body. In this example, I'm using the workspace ID to be able to find the correct workspace in Intercom and then sending the priority level. Now, let's work the other way around and create a workflow to receive data from another tool. In this case, a booking software that prospective customers use to book a product demo. This workflow is triggered by a webhook being received from an external source to this specific webhook URL. The webhook is sending data in JSON format, which we need to pass into a set of variables to use in our workflow. To accomplish this, we need to use a passJSON block, which will allow you to translate JSON into a set of variables. I'll use a variable to add the webhook payload as the raw JSON string. Next, I need to populate the fields for the data that I want to extract. On this screen, I have an example of how this webhook's payload looks. So you have the paths on the left and then their values on the right. So now in Atio, for field one, which is the name field, I will add name as the path and select string as the output type because it's a string of text. Your other options for output types are numbers and boolean, which is true or false. And then you also have the option of array, which would be a list of either text or numbers. Finally, I'll give it an alias, and the alias is to make it easier for you to identify what the data is at a later stage. If you don't add this, then you'll just see field one, field two, and so on. I'll do the same now for field two, which is email address, again, choosing string, and then adding the alias and I'll do this for all of the relevant fields. Once the data has been passed, we can use it in later blocks. For this workflow, I want to create or update the person record and then associate them to a new deal record. So let's use the email address as the matching attribute and then use the name that they provided for the name on the record. Next, we will create a record for a deal. So we'll use the associated company's name for the name of the deal and we will add them to the contacted stage because a meeting has already been booked. Now I'm going to associate the person record that we created or updated one step prior. And finally, add in the notes from the booking software into the deal notes. Now that data that we saw on the payload body earlier can be stored in Atio. So that's an overview of how you can use Atio's utility blocks to send, receive and use data from other tools and platforms.